Okay, buddy, you ready to go out into the world? Yes. Good morning, everyone. We are keeping busy on this Sunday. It is, uh, Saturday, is it Saturday? <laughs> uh, obviously, I don't know what day of the week it is. That's kind of been a, like a thing that's been going on. I, I noticed it on Twitter. A lot of other people are doing that too, since we're not like going out uh, the weekend and the week all kind of mixed together. and We don't know like what day of the week it is, but it's Saturday. I believe it's the day before Rachel's birthday. Is that right? It is. It, it's, the, it's a day. Oh, it's dark in here. Is it this, dark in here? I'm brightening it up. Look. Ooh, look at you. Homemade bread, jam. Yeah. I got my jam. This is one of the advent calendar jams. It's strawberry verbena. Ooh, so very it. nice. Yes. So we've been making loaves of bread. Look at this loaf right here. That's so fancy. You want some bread? You want some bread? I want some on my plate. Okay. What happened to your face? I uh, I got on top of the hill and I was running and running and running and running and I was trying to get through the two hoops. I was trying to get them up the top of the hill and and I want them to to, to stay up top of the the hill. But what happened to your face? I I I I I. I hurt my face. <laughs> How did you hurt your face, though? That's my problem. That's your problem? Yes. But how did it happen? How did your face get... Your your face looks like it got really scraped up. How did that happen? I, I fell down. You fell down? Yes. So Duncan fell down in our backyard and scraped his face pretty bad and we rushed him inside and got him all cleaned up. But he looks like such a little boy right now. He's just like got a band-aid on his head. That's how I always looked as a kid, I feel like. I always had like scrapes and bruises and stuff. But um, it was a scary, it was a scary little moment. Cause anytime you see blood as a parent, you're like, nah! Then like three seconds later, they're like, okay, I'm going back outside. Going back out for more. And the kids are out here at the table. They've got the 3D printer running. I think they're making, are they making a present? What are you doing? Making a present? Not yet? What is this? What are you making? What's cooking in the 3D printer here? Me. <laughs> You're making you? Yeah. So we're gonna have two Baileys? Yeah. All right, cool. It's up to now. All right, you'll have to show me that when it's done printing. And then you guys are also doing these Activity sheets. What what are these activity sheets for? Uh, they're just kind of memories of what how I was feeling at these times. This is literally how I'm feeling. Library. You're upset that the library is closed. Yep. So the kids are basically journaling how they're feeling and what's going on in the world right oh, now. Whoa, well, that's really good coloring. I like that. Jacob, um, now mine. This one. And where's yours? Okay. Whoa, Jake. This is yours. Nice work, that looks good. This is Bailey's page, it says library, x-ray of my brain, <laughs> words to describe how I feel, library, what have I learned most from this experience? I miss the library, <laughs> I am most thankful for the library, <laughs> oh you threw in my friends, that's nice of you, <laughs> books, and the library again, <laughs> three things I am most excited to do when this is over, <laughs> go to the library, see my friends and family, Leave the house and go on a trip to the Illinois Museum. The, Ill <laughs> the Illusion. Oh, Illusion. Sorry, I misread that. I was reading it through the little screen here. Illusions Museum? Yeah. Sounds like my kind of thing as a former it. professional magician. It's for Aunt Rachel. Oh, you're making a birthday gift for Aunt Rachel? Is this a basketball hoop? Yeah, and it's a pop up block. Whoa. Very cool. What I've learned most from this is They experience. get a little squished. I miss the library. My, my, that's, my. That's your, your card? Yeah, for, for Rachel and me. Aw, that is so sweet. Rachel. It says, fairy wishes and teddy bear kisses. May all your birthday dreams come true. It, it says, um, uh, Rachel too. It says me, no, it, it, there's me putting a cup and, and Rachel kind of putting a cup. 
You guys are holding cups? What are in your cups? Milk. Milk? Is, uh, is Aunt Rachel's almond milk? Mm-hmm. When this is all over, I really want to go to a buffet. A buffet? <gasps> I want to go to a buffet. I want to go to Soup Plantation. And Denny's. <gasps> Denny's, I love Denny's. I'm going to Denny's and Cafe. I don't know if it's because they like those places or they're just tired of my cooking. It could no, go either way. I like those places. You like those places. Or they're just hungry. Have you like have you enjoyed eating at home more though? You miss the buffet? Mm hmm You miss the, the sneeze guard? The all you can eat? The little tray that you carry around with you? Oh the little tray. That's the best part. You love a little the tray? Little tray. <laughs> it's all about the tray. <laughs> what are you up to, mister? Are you just hanging out with mommy in the window? Getting some sunlight? Blowing some bubbles? Hi. Mm, I love you. I love you. I'm thinking I'm gonna, Luke, so Luke is five and a half months old and I'm thinking I'm gonna do an update with him soon. I'm kind of confused about months <laughs> because I don't know if I should do like a six month update at the beginning when he first turned six months or if I should wait till the end. Cause last time I waited till the end of three months but I feel like some parents worry that their kids ha haven't achieved like what, ha like when they hit three months, they haven't achieved the video that ends at three months. Does that make sense? Cause a lot changes in a short amount of time with babies. I don't know. Luke still, Luke definitely is starting to show some of his differences though. Start of some of his like, some things are a little bit delayed with them and we're working on them. But I feel like it's kind of really interesting because th there are a lot of things that we're working on with them that are neat and will hopefully help him. Huh, buddy? Oh, this is one of them. He does a lot of pushing back with his legs like this and we're trying to get him out to break that posture. Trying to get him to do more of forward posture. Oh, You're buddy. doing good, buddy. You're doing so good. You're doing good. You're learning things. You're learning things. Working Are you giving so me hard. kisses? Are you trying to give me kisses? Are you gonna give me a big kiss? Yeah, I love you. We love you. Mmm. We mm, love you. Rachel's on her way over. She picked up some groceries and she's gonna bring them over to our house. And so we thought this was a good opportunity to give her some of her uh, birthday presents so the kids put up a sign that says, hi, we love you, Aunt Rachel. That was me. We love you, that was you. And then here are some of her presents. We have got a card that's from Duncan. This one's from Jacob. This one is, uh, this is a dog toothbrush. This is a multi-tool that Bailey made in the 3D printer. Uh, Parker made this one. What's in here? Oh yes the mug that Jessica and I got her, and then another card. And this is really cool. I don't know if Jessica showed this earlier, but it's a pop-up card that's also a game that Jacob made. So you try and get it into there. I missed. Oh, I missed again. Jacob's really good. Oh, I missed again. It's like this is the one. This is the one right here. It's like those little things. Okay, I missed again. Anyway, hopefully Rachel's better at it than I am. So this will all be waiting for her when she comes to deliver our groceries. We haven't been leaving our house at all for I think a month. We haven't left the house. Uh, but today Jessica noticed that a bug bite that Duncan had had that we've been keeping our eye on is getting swollen and, and bigger and we're worried that it's a staph infection. So we called his doctor and the doctor asked us to come in to get him checked out. So that's what we're gonna go do right now. Can you uh, zip this? Yeah, I can zip that. Can I show everybody your leg? Mm -hmm. so which, which leg has the bug bite on it? Oh, there it is. So there you can see there's like raised bumps all around it. There's the bug bite and then it's radiating outward. How are you feeling? Good. Good? Okay, you ready to go to the doctor? Yes, but I need to zip this. Okay, and we also need to put on your mask. You're gonna wear a mask today when we go to the doctor, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, buddy, you ready to go out into the world? Yes. All right. <laughs> Looking good. You wanna see Thank it? Thank you. 
Here, I'll flip the screen so you can see. You like your mask? Uh huh. Okay. Let's go to the doctor's office. We just finished at the doctor's. How'd it go? Good. Good? It's been a while since we've been in a car, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how's it feel? Good. Good? Uh, the doctor does not think that it's a staph infection, which is good. He thinks that it's uh, just a bug bite. We're gonna put hydrocortisone, hydrocorti, hydro something, hydro something. I wrote it down. We're gonna put some some stuff on it, some medicine. Hydrocortisone, one percent. Hydrocortisone. Hopefully that makes you feel better. Okay. And now Duncan and I are gonna go back to the house. Actually, before we do that, we have to stop by the library and return this book that's been out of the library that and Jake checked out. And, and it's I, overdue, but I don't think they're charging right now. You want to go to In and Out? I don't think we're going to In and Out. I think we got lots of food at home. <laughs> okay. Wash your hands. I love uh, my my ABCs. Oh, you sing with me. Good job. Okay, let's rinse them off. Good rinsing. Good job. They're Looking all good. They're all fun. So there's a couple of things that I want to point out after having gone out of the house. First off, you'll notice that we're following a lot of the CDC guidelines on hand washing, face masks, stuff like that, uh, social distancing. I want to encourage you to do the same. I'm not saying that to be alarmist at all. It's basically I'm seeing an opportunity to protect those around me that might be at higher risk and I'm taking it and I encourage you to do the same. And another thing that I, haven't heard anyone talk about but I think is really important is carry your own pen. I had to write something down when I got to the doctor's office. I've had to sign things at uh, the pharmacy or, or wherever and having a pen like this that has one of these little nib things on the top that you can use for the touch screens, totally worthwhile. I got this one for free at like a convention but I know they sell these as well. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive. They have a little rubber side to them that you use instead of your finger on a touchpad. And then the pen part, everybody's picking up the same pen and writing things down in stores and at doctor's offices. So if you carry your own pen, then you're the only one that's using it and thereby protecting yourself and those around you in case you're sick and you don't have symptoms. And a pen is really easy to sterilize too if you wanna use like an alcohol swab or, or wash it off with some sort of antibacterial spray, but bring your own pen places. It's a, it's a good idea. Oh, and Bailey got the face that she was printing finished and she's building this like person with all these different parts that connect together. This is so cool. Like, I can't believe you printed this. Do you want to see what it's going to look like when it's done? Yeah, I do want to see that. So that you designed this person? Mm -hmm. So cool. What part are you gonna print now? I'm going to print the hair after I print this this connector because I'm going to change the color. This is how you change the colors. Whoa, careful of the wires. Yeah. You're gonna be careful of the wires and cut the plastic. So this is they're calling this the printer food. 
this stuff here. So right now there's this like green color and Bailey wants to change it out for yellow. She's putting the spool on. So what you're going to do is you're gonna replace this color, the color you were using, with uh, the next color. You're just gonna wait until this is, goes out and then you're gonna stick this in. And once this color runs out, it'll just turn into this color. And since the connectors are inside, it doesn't really matter that it's a different color. We gave this uh, 3D printer to the kids. If you're m interested in it, go check that vlog out because it's it's really fun. They figured out how to print toys like instantly <laughs> with this awesome printer. So uh, we go into a lot more detail into it in that video. So I highly recommend checking it out. I'll put a link in a place. It'll be somewhere. You can watch it. So the kids are all having different play dates right now. So Parker's talking with Catherine. And then Jacob here is talking with his buddies and they're playing a game called Dominion. So Jacob and Bailey are both doing Zoom meetings with their friends and playing a game called Dominion online at the same time. And Parker is FaceTiming. So that's how we've <laughs> scheduled all these play dates. <laughs> Get distracted. Hi, it's Grandpa. <sighs> <A> <laughs> So this is what's been making all the noise in the background. Parker's been using the vacuum all over the place. Uh, you like talking to Grandpa? Uh, so wiggly. <laughs> He's excited. He <laughs> gets so excited. Where are you going? Boo. There's a smile. Is that yummy? Is it yummy? Yes! Yummy, 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 yummy. He's so cute. I get my glasses on so I can see him better. <laughs> 